Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. I get a lot of requests from my prospects where they want power virtual agents to answer questions for their customers about order statuses. So the scenario could be that one of their customers has ordered something online or maybe even in person. And now those customers are looking for a particular order status or maybe even a shipping method or maybe even a tracking number. Now, I'm not going to go into that much detail in this video, but I am going to show you how we can use Power Virtual Agents and Power Automate to address this business issue. So I'm going to start again with showing you what this is going to look like, right? Once we build it out. So I'm going to start my chat here and it's asking me, what is your email address? So let's just type that in. I'm not going to put my name in or a case. I'm just going to go ahead and submit that. What can I help with you today? Okay, I'm gonna say, where is my order? And that should guide me to the correct topic here. So let's just give it a second. And as you can see, it's now saying, hello, Faith, I will be happy to assist you with your order tracking. Please enter your order number. So I have an order over here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this order ID. And that's the one that I'm gonna, oops ask about. Here is my order. So now my flow is being kicked off in the background. It's going to query for that particular order, find it. And then as you can see, it's pulling in information from that order. So your order monitor order has a status of ready for shipment and the shipping method is FedEx. Do you want to check another order? So I can say yes again. And then it's going to go in a loop where, again, it's going to ask me for my order number, right? Just like it did over here. And I can continue on. But let's check real quick if this was correct. So it was called monitor order with a status of ready for shipment. And the shipping method is FedEx. So let's go back here. Monitor order, that's correct. And here is my shipping method, which is FedEx. And you can see on the top that it says ready for shipment. So that's the information that we're feeding back into Power Virtual Agents using Microsoft Power Automate. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can set this up. So I'm going to go here to Power Virtual Agents and I'm going to create a new topic. So you need to give it a name. and some trigger phrases. And then once you've done that, I'm just gonna save my topic here. Here we go. And then we can go to the authoring canvas. So I'm gonna put a message in here. Hello, I will be assist with your order tracking. And then the next one is going to be a question. And I'm going to say, please enter your order number. And <clears throat> I'm actually going to go ahead and get that entire user's response. But I do want to save that response as order number. Right, because again, this is where we're saving whatever that customer is typing in. Now, the next action is this is where we're going to create that Power Automate flow. So I can just go ahead here and say, we're gonna call an action. And then we can create a flow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a text input because this is going to hold that order number 
that's going to be passed from Power Virtual Agents onto my flow. So this is the only thing I'm asking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a next step. And then I'm going to do a list records step. And since I, let me actually try Dataverse. There we go. I actually have my Dynamics 365 CE instance in a different environment. So I'm using here my legacy connector and then I'm going to do list rows. So I'm going to select my environment here over here. And then obviously we are looking for orders. There we go. And then we have some advanced options, right? We want to make sure that the order number that we're looking for is actually whatever came through from Power Virtual Agent, right? What the customer typed in. So I'm going to say here, we're going to do a filter query here. So the order number equals, and this is the system name, right? Of that, oops, let me go back here, of the order number. So this particular guy, let me actually close this guy order number equals whatever they typed in over here. So that's this particular order number. So we have to do this little quote icon, single quote icon, put in the order number and again, a single quote. Don't forget to do that because otherwise you're going to get some errors. And I only need one record coming back. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is getting the status reason first, but I don't want it to do a apply to all. So that's why I'm going to use a compose function over here. So let me just go ahead and do compose. And I'm actually going to rename this. So I know what's happening over here. And this is where I want my status reason. So I'm going to put my, my cursor inside here. I'm going to click on expression and this is what I'm going to put in there. Let me just go back here. So whatever comes out of that list row step, right? I'm going to get the status code label. Cause as you know, that is actually a drop down, and that's why I need this status code label field. And I only want that one record. So I'm going to click okay here. And the next thing what I'm going to do with my another compose action, again, compose. And I'm going to rename that as well is I want to get the order name. So I'm going to say compose order name. And again, I'm going to put my cursor right inside here. And now I want to get this name field. And again, if you look what the system name is for this particular field, it is also name. So that's what we need to use. We're going to do the same thing, right? We're going to click in here, click on expression, and we're going to do again, body of list rows. We just need the value of what is in that name field in Dynamics. So I'm going to click OK. And the last thing that we want to add here, we're going to do another compose action. There we go. And now we need the shipping method. But again, let me go back here. The shipping method is also a drop down, and we want to get these labels and not those numerical values, right? So, what we're going to do here is again, we're going to click inside, we're going to hit expression. And we're going to do the exact same one body list rows value zero and then shipping method code label because we want to get that label of that value. So once we've done that, now we need to return those values, obviously back to power virtual agents, right? So we're, we can tell the customer, here's your status reason, here's your order name, and here is your shipping method. Let me actually rename this as well. There we go. 
So the first one here, I'm going to call this status reason. That's what I'm feeding back. And the second one, I'm going to call order name. And then lastly, we're feeding back. Here we go. Our shipping method, right? So the status reason, you can kind of see that now because I renamed those those condi or those compose steps, right? So we want here for status reason, obviously compose status reason, the output for order name, oops, go here. For order name, we want this output and for shipping method, we want this output. And that's really all you need to do for that flow. Obviously you need to make sure that you save that, give it a good name check order or get order information. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now we're going to go back to power virtual agents. So this was the question we were at. So now let's call that action of that flow that we just created. Let me see where it is. Get order info here on the bottom. So now we need to actually pass that order number that the user will type in here in Power Virtual Agents to Power Automate, right? So this is that order number, right? That variable right over here that we want to pass into this order number in, in the actual flow, right? So we want to pass that right into here. That's what we're doing. All right, and then we're going to get the flow is going to run and then we're going to get an output, right? So we want to then pass that information back to Power Virtual Agents. So I'm going to actually do ask a question and then I can say your order and then we're going to put the name in and we're going to get that from here. So that's order name has a status of, and this is the status reason, and then the shipping method is, and here is my shipping method. And then I'm going to ask, do you want to check any other orders. And this is where we're going to do the loop. So we're going to have these multiple choice options. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say no. And if it is no, we're just going to end this conversation with a survey. And if it, if it's yes, I want to go back to this question where it says, enter your order number. So I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit, a little bit more, even a little bit more. And I'm gonna click here on add node again. I need to move up a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but where's my add node? Right over there. And this little circle here, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna hold down my mouse button. I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna grab that. Let me try that again here. And I'm going to pull it all the way back up where it says here, ask a question. I know it's kind of hard to see. And I'm going to connect it to this dot here. Now let me zoom back in. So you can see now that it's connected. So if we go through this and PVA is asking, do you want to check your other orders? If the person says yes, then look, you can see here that this line is going back here to this question, please enter your order number. So that's how you can do that loop. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Have a great day, everybody.